It's 630 straight ahead construction on I-35 causing closures. What ramps will be closed and for how long? And Calera City Council members looking to change ODOT's current plans for a new exit in town. Details coming up. Plus a college expo held for students to show off some of their innovations. These stories and more are next. The news starts right now. Texoma's number one rated newscast broadcasting live from 12 studios. This is News 12 at 6.30 a.m. And a good morning to you, Texoma. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Jeremy Thomas. And I'm Lauren Smith. Meteorologist Tom Miller joining us now for a check of the weather. What's going on, Tom? Well, it is a cold start, but we're looking at temperatures a good 5 to 8 degrees above normal this afternoon at the price of some windy conditions. Starting off with clear skies, you can see temperatures in the uh, mid to upper 30s into the lower 40s. And we're just a few days away from Christmas, only 27. Sounds like a lot, but you know how it is when you're trying to shop. You just can't find that right gift. Well, you better hurry up. Again, those 27 days are going to go by quickly. Very windy, but it'll be warmer today as we'll see temperatures in the mid-60s. Very spring-like tomorrow. Believe it or not, we're expecting temperatures to be in the lower 70s both Thursday and Friday. Again, normal highs around 58 to 60. But there is that opportunity of rain. Some scattered showers Friday afternoon and evening. Actually, we could use a little bit of rain. It's been a couple of weeks since we've seen some good rainfall across the area. Hour by hour, we're looking at a temperature at lunchtime around 58 degrees, and we'll be topping out around 66. Enjoy it. This is the end of November. Forecast in just a few minutes. All right, thank you, Tom. Happening overnight, troopers investigating a deadly crash in Johnston County. It happened just after 10 last night near Ravia. Troopers say 40 year old Tara Parks of Mill Creek was headed westbound on State Highway 22. When the car departed the roadway, it hit a culvert, landing on its top, and caught on fire. Troopers say Parks was pronounced dead at the scene. No word yet on what may have caused the crash. Starting this morning, drivers can expect various ramp closures on I-35 in southern Oklahoma. Garvin, Murray, Carter, and Love counties will all see closures from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. for striping. Today and tomorrow, crews will be working on both sides of I-35 at mile markers 47 and 51, as well as the scenic turnaround near Davis. Also for tomorrow, both north and southbound ramps will be closed at State Highway 53 and Brooks Road near Springer, plus Oswald Road south of Ardmore will close intermittently tomorrow. The town of Calera is petitioning to get an exit closer to Main Street for the U.S. 6975 project. The ODOT project is to increase traffic flow and reduce collisions on the highway. It would elevate the highway over Main Street. A council member says there's an exit about a mile north of town with the current design. They say a closer exit to Main Street would help the economy and provide better emergency response time for accidents on the highway. Well, we really hope to get a exit closer than a, a mile. Right now, the exits are a little over a mile from north and southbound, so we're trying to get something closer to our business center here in town. And they say they hope for 1,000 signatures, about 50% of Calera's population based on the census. Sherman ISD is starting a program to give free flu shots for kids this year. The clinics will be held on November 30th and December 3rd at every school. Parents can sign their student up or their kids up online and they can bring a consent form and they must do that in order to get their shot. This is the first year Sherman ISD has partnered with healthy schools to make the flu shot free to students. Check out the Sherman ISD website for information on how to sign up. The U.S. Secretary of Veterans Affairs will meet with Tribal Nations veterans in Ada today. Secretary Robert Wilkie will join Chickasaw Nation Governor Bill Anatubby in a town hall style meeting. The Muskogee VA Regional Office will have claims processing staff on hand to process claims. The event is at the Chickasaw Nation Community Center in Ada from 10 to 11.15 this morning. The former Davis High School teacher who tried to marry one of her students has reached a deal with prosecutors to avoid further jail time. District Attorney Craig Ladd tells us that his office made the deal with 35-year-old Cassandra White at the request of that 16-year-old and his family. The state dropped its solicitation case in exchange for White pleading guilty to four counts of felony computer crimes. Ladd says White will spend the next 10 years on probation, surrendering her teaching license, undergo psychological treatment, and serve 
serve 200 hours of community service as part of the deal. She was arrested back in April after she and the boy filed for a marriage license last December, which was signed off by the teen's father. A family of five from Dixon loses everything in a house fire. It happened Monday night near the intersection of Highway 70 and Dixon Road. A mother and three kids, ages six, four, and two, were in the home but made it out safely. The father was in Ardmore when the fire began. We're told community members have donated clothes and shoes to the family. Dixon Fire Department says the cause is under investigation. A fundraiser was held in Calera for two girls who were critically injured in a car wreck that claimed their mother's life. The fundraiser held last night was a stew dinner at the Jack Stockton Community Building. In late October, a semi hit Mindy Brock's car as she tried to cross Highway 6975 at Main Street in Calera. Mindy died from the crash. Both daughters were flown to a Dallas area hospital. Ten-year-old Maddie is still there. Nine-year-old Ramey is recovering at home. I'm hoping everyone is just going to be there for the girls like she was for them. Percent of the donations raised last night will go toward Maddie, Ramey, and the Brock family. Dozens of Austin College students showed off their inventions in an event called the Innovation Expo. Tuesday was the first ever Innovation Expo at Austin College. All the products showcased were designed by students and made on campus with prototypes using 3D software and printers. Anyone in attendance got to vote on their favorite invention. The winner will be announced later today. Day. Many people in Chicago are without power because of a winter storm, so OG&E crews have left to head up north to help those in need. They're headed to Schaumburg, Illinois, that's about an hour outside of Chicago. Crews say they work about 16-hour days and picked up more crews in the Tulsa area. The drive from OKC to their destination is about 13 hours, and they are set to start work today, bringing their Oklahoma experience to the north. Crews could be there for up to a week. Well, Tom, hopefully we're not going to be seeing any of that winter weather here soon. Not here. It's almost going to feel like springtime with temperatures, maybe not today, but tomorrow and into Friday reaching the 70s. Yeah, we normally are seeing highs around 58 to 60, so get out and enjoy it. We can get spoiled by this course.